Here we are going to learn about parity error detecting code. So without wasting time, let's get started. When we send data from one point to another point, there might be some change in data because of noise or any other issue. Here we have sent the data 1101, but because of the noise, the data has changed from 1101 to 1100. And that is called the error in data. When there is error in data, then how to identify whether there is actual error or not. So for that purpose, there are various methods or codes of error detection. Codes like parity code, Hamming code, checksum method, cyclic redundancy check, BHC code and repetition code. These are various methods to detect the error in the code. Out of all these methods, we are going to talk about parity code because it is the simplest and the least expensive method for error detection. But now the question is, how it is so? So let's see, in parity code, we send only one parity bit with our actual data. Let's say for example, I want to send 28 bit of data. Then I can send it in four groups of eight bit data. But now instead of this, if I am using other methods like let's say Hamming code, which has four redundant bits, if you don't know what is redundant bit, you can read it below. So using Hamming code, if I want to send the same 28 bit data, I can send that data in four groups of 11 bits. So this requires more operations to perform to send the same data. So that is how this parity code is least expensive. Least expensive means here we are not talking about the money, but here we are talking in terms of performing more operations or sending more bits for the same data. So the basic concept is clear, right? So after knowing this, now let's explore what is parity code. Basically, it is the concept of detecting the error. What type of error it detects? It specifically detects single bit error. So parity code is a method to detect error and it specifically detects single bit error. Now from this parity code can be divided into two types. One is odd parity and the other is even parity. Odd parity means total ones in the data including parity bit are of odd numbers. And even parity means total ones in data including parity bit are even numbers. Now we'll see what is odd parity with example in detail. Now this is the data which we want to send and this is our parity bit. We'll keep it blank for some time. And now we'll see what is the definition of odd parity. It is total number of ones in data including parity bits should be of odd numbers. Now let's check here in our data, how many numbers of one we have? It's three. And basically this three is an odd number. And what is the definition of odd parity? The total ones in data, including parity bit should be odd number. But here we already have odd ones. So now what do we do? We'll make parity bit as zero. So how many ones we have in parity bit? We have zero ones in parity bit. So total one including parity bit will be three plus one zero, which gives us three, which is basically a odd number. So this is our entire data, including parity bit. And this is how we make odd parity. Now here, let's take another example to understand it better. We'll keep this parity bit blank for some time. Now here, I want you to think and write in comments what parity bit we should assign here, zero or one. Pause the video, write in comments and then we'll move ahead. So if we make parity bit 1, 4 plus 1 gives us 5, which is again a odd number. So this is how we make odd parity. So if you are enjoying learning this, quickly hit the like button and now we'll move ahead. Now let's understand even parity. Here we'll use the same data as we used in odd parity. So this is the data which we are going to send. It is our parity bit and we are going to keep it blank for some time. Now let's check. What is the definition of even parity? Total ones in the data including parity bit should be even number. So here let's check how many ones we have in our data. 
it's 3 it's an odd number now as per the definition of even parity total ones in data including parity bit should be even number but here in data we have odd number so what do we do we'll add 1 in parity so 3 plus 1 total it gives us 4 so our entire data including parity bit has even numbers of 1 which makes it even parity here we have another example to understand it better and before I say anything I want you to pause this video and write what we supposed to put in this parity 0 or 1 write that answer in comments and once you are done with that then we'll move ahead now let's check how many ones here we have we have four numbers of ones so if we place 0 in parity 4 plus 1 that gives us 4 that is an even number so this is how we make even parity now I'll show you combined example of odd and even parity so that you can have clear idea of difference between these two parities so let's say this is our data our parity bit is blank how many ones we have in data we have two so what we'll do we'll add one bit here so two plus one gives us three and that makes it an odd parity now if we'll take the same example in even parity what we'll do here we have even numbers of 1 so we'll put 0 over here so 2 plus 0 gives us 2 an even number so in this example we have added 1 as parity bit to make it odd parity and we have added 0 as parity bit to make it even parity let's take one more example here we have odd numbers of 1's 3 so what we'll do we'll put 0 over here so 3 plus 1 gives us 3 as odd parity and in the same example what we'll do because we have odd numbers of 1 in data, we'll add one more 1 in parity bit. So 3 plus 1 makes it 4 and even parity. So for the same data, if you are using odd parity, the magnitude of parity bit is different. And for even parity, the magnitude of parity bit is different. So the crux of odd parity is total numbers of 1 including data and parity bit should be odd number and for even parity the total numbers of 1s including data and parity bit should be an even number so odd parity odd ones even parity even ones just remember this much only and your concept to parity is clear so you have understood how to make odd parity and even parity and now we'll see how to detect error using odd parity and even parity. So let's say we'll start with odd parity. Let's say this is our sending end side and this is our receiving end side. This is the data which we want to send. Now when we send this data, this is the data which we receive. And when we receive the data, this bit has changed from 1 to 0. Now at the receiving end there will be a parity checker circuit will checks the parity of received data. We are using odd parity that thing we have already informed to the receiving end. So the parity checker circuit will check the message as per odd parity because that is what we have earlier informed. So as per odd parity there should be odd numbers of ones including parity bit. But here you can see there are even numbers of ones including parity bit. So this circuit will detect this as an error in message and it will send the message to sending end to resend the previous data. Now let's take the same example in a different manner and this will be a little bit interesting. Now this is the data we are sending and due to some noise error occur itself in parity bit here. So this thing you should keep in mind that error can occur at any point in your data whether it is data or it is parity bit error can occur at any place in entire data so what happens if your parity bit is got corrupted and modified from 0 to 1 so what will happen to this data now let's check so the circuit will again check the parity we have already informed that it is the odd parity so it will check as per the odd parity and as per odd parity there has to be odd numbers of 1 but here we have even numbers of 1 so the circuit will detect that there is some error in this code and it will send a message to sending end to please resend this message because we have received an error message so that's how odd parity detects error now we'll see how the even parity works 
So this is the data which we want to send. And when we receive the data because of noise, there is some change in the data occurs. Here we are using even parity and this is we have already informed to the receiving end that we are using even parity. So the parity check circuit at receiving end will check parity as per even parity. So it will check there has to be even numbers of one. But because we have odd numbers of one here, it will consider this as message with error and will ask sending end to resend the message. Let's take the same example and here the same way error occurs in parity bit. So again the parity circuit will check the message and as per even parity there has to be even numbers of 1 but because we have odd numbers of 1 the circuit will detect the error and it will ask sending end to send this message again. So that is how error detection in even parity will happen. Till now if you have any doubt in this detection part you can ask me by writing in comment section. Error detection using parity is simple method but with this there are some limitations. Let me tell you what are the problems with this method. When we send the data and instead of one bit, what if there is error or what if there is malfunction in more than one bit? Here there is malfunction in two bit. So what will happen? So because it is odd parity, it will check the odd numbers of one. So when it checks, it founds one, two, three, four, five. There is odd numbers of one. So now this odd parity checker circuit will not consider this as error. Though it has error, it will not consider it as error. Now let's take the similar example, but here there is one change in data and a change in parity bit. So what this odd parity will do, it will check the total numbers of one in entire data and total numbers of one in entire data is an odd number. So it will not detect this as error. So this is a big limitation in odd parity. The same way in odd parity, there is limitation in even parity. Let's say if we are sending this data and at two bits, there is change in data. So as per even parity, it will count one, two, three, four, five, six. There are even numbers of one and it is even parity. So it will not detect this as error. Though it has error, it will not detect it as error. The same way if we consider the same example, if there is change in parity bit and a bit in data, there are even numbers of one. So even parity will not consider it as error in received data. So from this, we can conclude that if the data has one bit or odd bits of error, then parity bit can detect that error. But instead of one or odd bit, if the data has even bit of error, then parity code cannot detect that error. So this is all about parity code. To learn more about different codes, visit our playlist, which includes varieties of topic on digital electronics. So see you into the next video into the playlist.